going on. Uh, I just got a new product from Century Gun Leather. As you guys remember, I showed you these holsters before. Uh, these are the outside waistband, the two-tone. Um, you know, he's known for his border. Looks really great. And this is probably the, the nicest mag pouch that I have experience with. Which I don't have a ton of experience with them, but uh, the last six different companies that made me a mag pouch. Uh, this one's definitely my favorite. Not only does it look the best, it works the best. And uh, I'm very happy with the mag pouch. The outside the waist worked great for me. I wear it at work outside the waistband all day long. No problems. Um, fantastic. Uh, so I was, you know, so pleased with it. I said, well, I'll, let's try inside the waist. And then he um, sent me this one. Once again, as you can tell just by looking at it, he goes a little bit the extra mile uh, than your typical in the waistband holster. See, I like this in the waistband holster. Why? Look how small it is. Okay? It's nice and little. Um, this is a Glock 19. It's not a real heavy gun, so there's no reason for a big holster to distribute any weight. It's, it's a great gun for carrying in the waistband. And what I love about his is, same thing, the holster don't come up too far up into the trigger guard, so if you grab it, there's no holster getting in the way at all. But look at this, look how thick and wide his, his leather strap is. Okay, so the, the whole holster goes in and your belt goes through and remember the, uh, the retention is um, fantastic with this holster but the, the retention will increase once you get the holster on. It's still tight enough that it won't let the gun come out of the holster and this is a full mag in here. Okay, so this is the gun's full weight but not hard to get out now once you get the holster you know, belted up and strapped on and everything, the uh, retention will increase just a little bit more and it'll make it perfect. So as you can see, it fits it perfect. It looks like it's actually melted on the gun. It fits so nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a little thinner gauge for the inside the waistband, so it gives what your body and, you know, it flexes. That's what you want. He uh, just does a beautiful job. All the edges, same exact thing. All the edges are buffed and sand and there's no snag. It's all anti-snag. Once again, I like that the, the muzzle is open, so I could put other Glock models in there. Um, awesome. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, put it on. We'll see how it looks on, and uh, I'll show you how comfortable it is. All right. Uh, also, remember these come in all different colors. Okay, they're like, look what you're getting. A high quality in the waistband holster for 30 bucks. They're 30 bucks. That's nothing in the gun world. Look at the definition in the crimp. Real nice. This is flat dark earth. Uh, you can get it in OD green, you can get it in black. Uh, same thing. So, But he sent me this to match these because, uh, you know, I'm like a girl. So, um, very nice. I'm digging it. I'm going to let you know how comfortable it is, okay? I can tell us by looking at it, it's going to be really comfortable. I mean, it just, it doesn't take up any space in your pants, which is something I'm used to. All right, getting ready to go out to the uh, run my errands. I'm going to wear my Glock 19 in my holster. Man, I wish this can be like, just cut out, like kind of, damn, that's a lot. That's thick. It's like four inches of fat. Just cut this off right here. Wouldn't that be nice? Here's the holster. And I'm going to put it around 3 o'clock. I'm just going to shove it in here. Oh man, you know what I like about this? It has the strap on there. And some of them with the straps on them, the, they're screwed in too low. So when you push it in, it only goes down like that far. I love that this goes all the way down. Like that. All the way down. And what I do is I wear a shirt under a shirt. And when I do it, I, I don't even have, I'm not even going to use a fancy gun belt, because that's a good way to test a good holster. It's just a regular belt. Then, if it's comfortable with this, just imagine 
with a beautiful gum belt how great this thing's going to be he left a nice uh, he gave me a nice width on that leather so I can use my boxer tactical belt and just position it where I want that bad boy okay that and what I do is before I pull the belt tight I holster my weapon wow it slides in there nice okay now I'll pull my belt tight all right there it feels great this is a three o'clock as you can see three o'clock remember remember before the old videos your penis is at 12 o'clock and your gun is holster is at three o'clock. Twelve, three, right here. You can go here. You can go anywhere you want. I mean, you can go appendix. Uh, it has a slight cant, which I like it because as I come up to grab, my wrist is on a slight cant. See it? So it totally matches the angle of my hand if I have to grab this pistol, right? To pull it out and use it. Very easy to draw. Very easy to reholster. Nice positive snap. Great retention. This is the best way I can show you guys. I'm not a professional holster shower, but I would do this and then I would put a shirt over this because I just don't I don't like the uh, the gun rubbing on me. And what I like about this is you don't have that big giant sweat guard sticking up. What I don't like about sweat guards is, here's the problem with sweat guards. When you're overweight like myself, and you're a disgrace, and you're built like a Boston cream donut, when you sit down, your roll kind of rolls over up here on that sweat guard. And even though this is thin kydex, it's thin, but it's thin, so it'll dig in. I like that the, there is no sweat guard. So it's just kind of like a Don Hume holster with a, a much better secured strap on it. I like it. Okay, so that's how I would wear it. Uh, I could wear it like this. Thank God the winter's coming. I could throw a jacket on and I don't have to put two shirts on. I could just wear this like this and just put a light jacket on. So I love it, man. Sean. Thank you so much for this beautiful holster. I can't wait to try it with an advanced belt. It's going to be even better. So let's take it back off. I know the girls like this part. <whistles> Ebomi's getting excited. I haven't heard from Eric lately. He's probably pissed at me. He's very sensitive. You know what I mean? His channel's getting real big now, so he ain't got the time to come over and say hello anymore. Okay. There it is. Sentry gun leathers in the waistband, right handed holster, reinforced, extra heavy duty belt. I like that he uses the Allen key screws. They look very professional, not the Phillips heads, which is fine, but they just look better, don't they? Very nice, man. Very happy with this, dude. I mean, this is exactly what I need. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I'll put Century Gun Leathers link under there, and uh, gotta be kidding me, uh, that's a great price for them uh, for that holster. Beautiful setup right there. Collect the whole set. All right, Sean. All kidding aside, thank you very much. Talk to you guys soon.